take a look inside the house as much as you'd like. Mizuki, 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 Mizuki. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> What's up guys, it's Phil here and today we're going to be playing Missing Children by Chillers and if you haven't seen from the last video I did the closing shift which was by Chillers and I actually really enjoyed that game and it was, it was scary okay it was real scary it got me a couple of times if you haven't watched it I'll put it in a card section or it's also in the description box if you want to go check that out because it was a few jump scares let's just say that so without further ado let's just jump straight in ring 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 ring. Hello? That's a very nice image. So, it's been a while. Oh, here, long time. Yamada. Yamada. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I've just probably butchered it. Was it? Yep, that's my name. Don't wear it out. I heard you became a bully detective. I can understand your decision, especially after that incident. I feel for you. But that's why I wanted to talk to you about this. I believe you can help us out this time because of what you've been through. I'll explain the details in person. I'll be waiting at Nek Nekonome. Nekonome. See you there. Um, shift run, which is really not fast, but we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, so, we're at the police station. Looking. Should feel very safe here, right? Uh, not with that face, I don't, but that's fine. Thanks for coming, Turtle. So, to put it simply, the three, the three, I don't know why it sounded like that, the three junior high school students went missing. <laughs> but, I was suspecting that's not the case of kidnapping. One of the kids' parents overheard their conversation of meeting up on the day they went missing. Funahashi should be able to help you out. He can be quite the bad mouth. Well, so can I, so we're going to get on just fine. But don't be, ha don't be too harsh on him. He should be taking a break at the back there. And one more thing, if you want to save, come talk to me anytime. Uh, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know what's up with me right now. I'm in a funky mood. Oh, we're going to pretend that uh, we didn't just see that. Oh, and the toilet's right next to it. Maybe he takes it and goes in. Anyways. PG, PG, man, PG. Oh, uh, it's, it's like PS1 Harry Potter all over again. Uh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, whoa, don't, don't talk to me so abruptly. I thought my heart, my heart's gonna stop. Sorry, that sentence just kind of gave me an aneurysm. <laughs> so you're the detective Yamada san talked about not really a detective i mostly just help out struggling kids in schools that smile though <laughs> now people started calling me bully detective ah oh, that's where it comes from then well whatever it is i find it very hard to trust a woman who looks so frail to take on a mission like this yeah you're right i'm pretty frail i had to have stuck my tooth anyhow yamada san told me you know a lot more about these kind of things more than us officers. Have any clues? Uh, hmm, let's see. According to the missing kid's friend, he saw one of the girls communicating via a private online chat. Ooh, maybe... I'm, I'm joking. And that girl is Mizuki. So let's go to her house first. If you're really willing to help us out, that is. Um, I'm not really willing, but if, uh, oh, I thought I'd seen it first. I'm not really willing, but if there's a, if there's a payment involved, or, you know, or I could take that poster. No? <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, that's not a copyright image. Yeah, anyways. Do we need to close the door? I'm closing the door, just to be nice. Why not? Um, Right. Where are you going? Uh, Zuki's house. 
Why are you going? I'm going. Yeah. That's not creepy at all. Dude, actually. Oh, why are you looking down like that? What? Ooh. I'm sorry, it's like, um. What was it? Uncanny Valley? Could we go speak to this dude? Hi. Uh, we're looking for Miss Suki's house. You know what? Never mind. I'm off. Nope. I'm noping, 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 noping the F out of that. <laughs> Anyways. Wow, that's so loud. Excuse me. Hi. Who are you? What do you want from me? If you're here for Mizuki, she's not here, so there's no point of coming inside. Mizuki's gone, and I can't be bothered right now. Neither can I. Do you think I can be asked? Can you please go away? <laughs> you're not even the police. They're, they're over there. Who do you think you are? Oh. Uh. Well, I tried to knock on them, and they weren't having it. Where would you like to go? Oh. Uh, could you come with me? Well, I... I mean, isn't this your duty to do? I'm not good at this, uh, good at this kind of thing. Why are you wearing a the uniform, then? She won't talk unless it's the police. Fine. I understand. Don't blame me if anything happens. What do you mean? What's gonna happen? I've got my eyes on that kid. Oh yeah, let me do all the work once again. You, again? Oh. It looks like you brought an actual officer this time. Still. There's no way I'd let you in. So... Too bad. We can't help it. For the time being, let's go to Akiko's. Uh... Sure, Flatface. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not sure. Wait. Akiko's? So I'm guessing that's... Uh... Where this kid is? I don't know, I'm just guessing, because no one's giving my, me, my, no one's giving my dog neck hint. This windmill toy is weird. You're, <laughs> yeah, the windmill's weird. No matter how I swing it, it never turns. This isn't so fun. Uh, well, I've got somewhere else that I could swing. Never mind. Um, <laughs> if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. I don't know. I don't think this is the house we need to go to. Oh, just gets even. It just gets creepier and creepier. Why does your car look frozen? Okay, well he's no use. So I'm just gonna walk off. Really. Oh, what's this? Newspaper article. Could it be domestic abuse? A death of a middle schooler in town on September 14th. Takumi Sato, 12, was found dead in Nagoya City, Aichi Prefecture, with numerous wounds on his body. Police suspect, suspect his parents, a single mother, might have been the culprit. Well, this isn't sounding so good. Is this related to uh, what we're trying to sort out by any chance? <laughs> Ooh, I do not like this setting right now. It's kind of, you know, it's so relaxing. <laughs> it wants me to offer something, uh, like everything does. I don't, I don't know. What do you want? Uh, like what? I don't. I mean. Oh, there's a completely different pathway over here. I didn't even walk on, but that's cool. I mean, it's totally not. I'm scared for my life. No one's answering. Maybe there's someone around. Maybe there's no one around, or maybe there's someone around. Oh, well, obviously not, because they're not answering. Um. Hi. Bye. We're gonna have to talk to them, aren't we? It's locked. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, okay. 
I... Oh! Jeez, don't scare me like you scared me. I thought I was going to strain my back. I thought I was going to strain my back. What are you looking for? I apologise for inter... Oh, that's me. My name is Sato. I've heard Akiko has gone missing and I'm trying to gather evidence. May have a look inside the house. Oh, oh, is Akiko okay? She was acting very strange lately. Oh, I'm anxious now. Please find Akiko. That my old woman's Im imitation is just really not doing it. I believe in you. <laughs> and of course, of course, take a look inside the house as much as you'd like. Okay. I thought she was following me. Sorry, she's really creeping me out. Right, which house are we looking in then? We're looking in the other one, not that one. Not that way. I think it's this one we're supposed to be going in. Not that way. Yes. Oh, I, I just didn't think it could get, you know, any creepier. Maybe the grandma knows something. What do you mean? I don't want to have to go all the way back out. Back outside. Surely she would have been in here and checked it out because she's gone missing, right? Some food. Lots of lots of trash bags. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a decomposed body in there, and, you know, well dismembered body and all that. Can't go upstairs apparently. That's that's great. Okay, we're gonna have to go back outside. Oh, okay, it's just you. You just stand there and not do anything. There's not, there's not actually any point in him being here. Um, jeez, don't scare me like that. I thought I was going to strain... Oh. Well, I just met you earlier. Oh, is that so? I think it's because you have a face that's hard to remember. Oh, by the way, Akiko's room is locked. Do you know where the key is? How would I know? Hmm, let's see. I think I saw something that looks like a key around here. I can't quite remember where, though. Well, that's just absolutely helpful, you know. Oh. Never mind your old bag, I've got it. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I said, never mind you absolute chad. That doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to make it rhyme, so, you know, she kind of, you know, she might be half deaf or something. Like me. <laughs> oh, there we go. I had to actually equip the lock. Um, oh, I thought someone was underneath that. I think that's just clothes. There are terrible graffiti. There is terrible graffiti on the bag. How dare they? How dare they draw on my new Gucci handbag? The cheek. What's going on? Why oh, can I hear screaming? And what looks like an elevator door? Hello? May I ask who's calling? Although faint, I can hear someone singing. What? No, I'm not even scared. I'm just confused. Right now. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. She's not 
here. Oh, there we go, storage key. Um, is that a Tamagotchi? Oh, what is a Tamagotchi? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's that's gonna be the offering. So, <gasps> oh my God, who are you? Oh, didn't see that. What's wrong? Do you know where your mother and father are? They, hmm. They're not... When will they come back? What's that in your hand? The dog? What? Dog food? Why do you have that? Hey, why don't you come down? Maybe she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. But she isn't too scared. Just kind of lifeless. Well, I reckon she would be without... Without knowing where her parents are and all that and... Eating dog food. Should we give her this item? I I don't know. Why are you wearing a mask? I'm glad you asked. My family and I are struggling with the mask shortage. Could you please, please find me some masks we could use? My family can't live without them. That's why I'm using an actual mask instead, so we can save on the stuff. Wait, what? You've just confused me. What is he going on about? I know, I'm just hella confused. Um... Oh, is that a dead body? Hey, doggo. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> Why does it always happen to me? He's still breathing. Yeah, I think I can see it just faintly with the grass popping in and out. <laughs> I guess he's just old. Yeah, you know, he's just, he's just really, really old. He's moving, he's definitely moving. I think. I mean, honestly, I thought it was a corpse. I don't know why, okay? It's, it's a horror game, you know? You'd expect weird things to be around. I'm just so lost, I don't know what... ...what to do. Oh my god, she came out. Where did you find this? Well, okay, I had to actually have it in my hand, like, Hello, come outside the door. This is Mizuki's precious charm. I see, I guess I have no choice. If it's for Mizuki. Only took me about five, ten minutes. Hold up. She definitely wasn't wearing that just before. Or am I going insane? Mizuki. 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 Uh. <laughs> I apologise. I, uh... I love a good bird. Oh, nice. 
Nice, uh... Why are we picking up a package? Please break up with me. I regret it in Sechiro kun It's embarrassing to tell everyone. Sechiro kun doesn't have the money or the brain. You can't do sports, right? I don't need you in my life. <laughs> my mum says she should break up with you. Mizuki. Because he can't do sports? Oh my god, don't do that. Why are you in my room? When did I tell you you can go in my room? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Come to think of it, Mizuki's been meeting up with her friends recently. I think the last time she went out was with Kane's house. Kanai's house. Why don't you go there instead? I mean... I don't know, you're kind of freaking me out. Like... You did let me in your room. What do you want me to do? Okay, I'm guessing this is Mizuki's room or your little computer room. Seems like you need a password to access it. Well... What about this? Looks like Mizuki had a boyfriend. They look very happy. Her boyfriend's name is Sechiro. Why is there a radio on top of the door? Are we supposed to listen to that? Because I kind of turned it off and you can't turn it back on. Oops. Well, um... I've just done that backwards, haven't I? I think I was supposed to go in there, check this out first, and then go upstairs, but you know, whatever, we've... Can't speak to her now. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to anyways. Right, Kinez house, so... I, I think that's how you pronounce it, okay? Just don't even take the mick out of us. I don't know. I don't have a clue. He's just chilling, standing there with no nose, and we're solving all of the mysteries. Can't crouch, but I really want to see his face. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Uh, just pulling weeds. This place looks like a mess. I agree. But this isn't even my place. Then who are you? I'm just a random guy hired by the guy who lives here. I keep getting complaints though. I work too slow, they say. Why don't you just not do it then? <laughs> they pay me well. How much? 100 yen an hour. Is that a lot? I don't think that's a lot. Well, anyway, I want to get my job done fast. I have something for you if you bring me something that can make my life easier. Uh, box mask. Oh no, that's that's for the um, the kid. Um, that's something that can make your life easier. I mean, a flashlight? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop. That's just not even appropriate, Phil. That's, that's really not appropriate. Why did you have to say that? That's disgusting. Hmm, wrong house. Um, I said flashlight. Okay, that's actually not that inappropriate. You know, it could help him see in the dark. It's dark out here. Uh. Hmm, wrong house. Yes, um, I... I don't know what to do. We need to go to this kid and give him the box of masks. Because he said that he was running out, which is why he's wearing one to save the masks. Which makes no sense to me, but... Sure. Thanks. Now my family can live in peace. Oh yeah. I don't get what's so good about this toy, but... Here you go. Thanks. I think we're supposed to give this to the dude who's working. You know, to cool him down. Maybe. I don't know. Flat nose doesn't know either. Oh, I need to talk to him, actually. Flat nose. Hi. Uh, oh, you need to go to... Hold on. Is this a pathway? Oh my god, it is and all. <laughs> um, look. There's nothing even up here.
There's actually nothing even up here. What's the point in that? Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Um. That's... If I didn't need that pathway was there before instead of, you know, going to three different places, we would have been okay. Ugh, no one's home. Why'd you say it like that? Ugh, no one's home. <laughs> Uh, well then, I guess we just have to break in by the window. Or, you know, go around the back like a sensible person. What the hell is that? Hello? Oh my god, are you serious? I got so scared from that. Ugh. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I, d I didn't get scared, you got scared. What are you talking about? Um. So, if no one's home, then what do we do? Oh, hi. Who are you? <laughs> Very round head. What do you guys want? Kinnear's gone missing. Do you happen to know anything about it? I'm also troubled by it. I've no idea. Well, you might find something in the house. Please, come take a look. Well, about time someone showed up. About time someone showed up. It's so silent in this, uh, village, and I did not hear you pull up. So, mister, how's, how's life treating you? Oh, okay. Just walk through me then. I do not want to go up there, so we're going to start off with this room. Hi. Let me know if you need anything. Sure, is this your home? Because I'm confused. Oh no, it's Kinnear's house. How, how are you loud in though? I don't get it. Newspaper article 2. It was suicide. The single mother grieves. A police investigation revealed that the cause of death of Takumi Sato, or Sato, found in Nagoya City, uh, Aichi Prefecture, on September 14th was in fact a suicide. The mother, who has been working hard as a single mother, wept in tears. So it was confirmed a suicide. Um, we got some candy as an offering, I guess. Is that right? Nothing in that room. Okay. Do we have to go upstairs? I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. It's just because I heard noises, you know. Why is it like a... Is that the balcony or something? I'm confused. Um, dot dot dot. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Could maybe ask the guy about it. Oh, handsome. Just so handsome. It's our first wedding anniversary. First year wedding anniversary, me and him. No, the chickens, this, that is a side chick. <laughs> I just came out with the most horrendous joke ever. You better subscribe for that one. Go on, do it. Okay, so I don't know if we can actually speak to him about that. Can his desk drawer won't open? Do you have the key for it? No, I don't. Hmm. Well, I remember Kinnear would always hide, hide things behind some furniture when she was little, but that was when she was, when she, that was when she was, when she was a child. Okay. I don't know exactly what furniture that would be, but, um, I'm going to go look. Maybe it means in the room. Behind furniture, or what furniture are you going on? Oh. Oh, that's a very specific place for a... Hello? Where have you gone? Don't leave me here like this. Oh no. Why is he, why is, why is he just disappeared, man? 
Someone's taken him. I don't like this. Okay. They were fighting again. They were yelling at each other and I can't sleep. Dad was mad about what Mum made for dinner. I thought it tasted good. Again, I'm honestly getting tired. Dad was upset about Mum buying a bag online. Why can't she reward herself once in a while? Mum was the loud one this time around. Dad's been drinking recently and is wasting money for God knows what. Then Dad made some excuse about how it's not fun coming back home and how dinner tastes. What is going on? <laughs> Today's my V day and neither of my parents remember it. Oh, that's so sad. Not even a single word of celebration, just fighting as always. I'm getting sick of it. What's sickening is that they were angry because of my failing grades. Falling grades. Although it's been on a steady decline i can still pass and i'm just below the average although all they want is a reason to fight and complain about each other didn't don't you ever get tired of fighting i feel as if i don't have a home i start to lock myself up in my room every time one of them comes back i don't want to hear their voices anymore every night i wish my life was a little happier just a little is fine today's fight with somebody else i ho overheard something i shouldn't have they said they wouldn't be here together if I weren't born. They also said that I was born before they married. I'm sure that's what they said. How come they never talk to me about it? I feel unwanted, like I shouldn't exist. I don't feel right to be in this world. I want to hide the key behind a piece of furniture again, but I hid it inside my pillow this time, just so I don't forget. I'll write this down. Mizuki said that I should let the dog handle hiding, but why trust the dog? confused. What's that in the pillow? Oh, it's another key. Wait, what's the key for? Yeah. I'm confused what this key is for. Hey kid, do you want some beer? Okay, maybe not. That was a joke. I need the dog food you're holding, if you'd like. Could you exchange it for these snacks? Okay, thank you. Hey, by the way, I don't see your grandma around. You know where she went? Um... We, we don't have a grandma. <laughs> what is going on? I think like someone's in my kitchen doorway and it's freaking me out. But no one's there. Um, is Kinez where the dog is? I think it's Mizuki, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. Okay, hopefully the dog's alright. Hey, doggo. He's still breathing. I guess he's just old. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to get the actual dog feed out. Oh, he's alive. That's good. Oh. No, my guess is he's going to lead us. My guess is he's going to lead us somewhere, which... I don't know, I'm just guessing. Very slow dog, I might have to skip this. Oh no, it's fine. Um, thanks for the food. Was that you who said that to me or what? I'm confused. <laughs> I can't open it without a key. Yep, I've got the key. Some sort of note. Oh, computer password. There's a lot of um, treasure hunting for this game, isn't there? I mean, I'm not. I, I'm not saying I'm not enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's not all too bad. Um, computer is in Mizuki's, right? Let me guess. She's just standing at the usual place, which I'm not even going to go check because I, whatever. Oh. Uh, email. The email says, Mizuki, I heard you broke up with your boyfriend. Are you okay? I remember you would tell me no 
tell me know how much you'd love him. I'm a little worried. Talk to me anytime. I would gladly help you out. In a strange chat box, it says, Mizuki, don't forget to bring it. Akiko, I know. Can it? That, that park, right? Akiko, don't be late. Okay, what park is that? Because I have no clue now. But yeah, the park was a completely separate place. He's just gonna stand there doing nothing. As per. Oh, cool. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I already don't like this place. Hello, hi. Guess we got the crying woman, right? Nope, she's. She's gone. She doesn't want to speak to us. Hey. Is that a reflection of us? Oh, that's so creepy! Uh, we got a drink at least. No, 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 no. <laughs> I did not like that. Um. Uh, there's nothing we can really do except for move forward. I can't even go to the park. I can't see. Follow the lights, right? Where's she going? She's not following us anymore. This is eerie. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Oh, now we're at a lake. We go in it? No? No, what is going on? I don't know where we are. I don't know why we're going across a... a bridge. To the middle of nowhere. I can hear weird sounds. You know? This one's following us anymore. Because that was creepy, I didn't like that. I think it was supposed to be a reflection of ourselves or foreshadowing. Hello? Oh my god! Look, I knew that was going to happen. I just knew. But I'm kind of intrigued to know what happened to the ending of this. Like, what? What? I mean, they say it was a suicide, but I'm going to guess there's a plot twist to this where it wasn't a suicide and someone killed her or something. Sorry, I actually thought that was some sort of monster. It's just the trees spawning in front of the moon. Yeah, this real scary, real scary stuff. Um... Oh my god! <laughs> I had fainted and fell into the pond. Luckily, Funahashi rushed over and saved me from drowning. I couldn't save Takumi, and tonight I couldn't save anyone once again. Not even one of them. What am I doing? An entire week I locked myself up and didn't have the will to do anything. Why would they do such a thing? 
I knew the reason for the suicide. Resentment filled my heart. When Takumi took his life, I tried my best to look away from reality, but to lose someone so close is just unbearable. I had never thought that this kind of thing could happen so near. Somewhere inside, I wish it was someone else's affair. The matter was too big not to take it into my own hands. That's why I wanted to help this time. I can't repeat the same thing, but I couldn't save them. The emotions I had locked up since the death of Takumi started to well up again. Takumi made me who I am today. Death is sad, but death moves us. I will not be defeated. Now I carry the weight of three more. We cannot allow for their end to be in vain. Dot, 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 dot. Never. I will not waste their death. I have to stand up. That is the only option left for me. Get the bad ending. Is it because I didn't offer everything? It is, isn't it? It's because I didn't offer all those things. What else was I supposed to offer? And I still had the beer in my hand. <laughs> okay guys, so that was the missing children. I actually got the bad ending, but if you go look up on Google or YouTube, I'm sure you'll see what the good ending is supposed to be. I'm actually quite curious now, so I'm probably going to look it up. But um, yeah, what the hell? Like, I don't know how I got the bad ending. I think it's because I didn't give all offerings to the shrine. Because it still wanted more offerings, and I only gave one. And I think it was maybe three offerings for three different children, maybe. I don't know. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was an eerie little horror game. It wasn't too scary. It was, but it was, uh, it was definitely eerie. But um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was alright. Um, Chillers uh, do some good horror games as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to do some more on them for sure. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for anybody supporting me at the minute. I do appreciate you guys. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.